Can you stand the rain? <laughs> that's right, that's right. Can you stand the rain? Now, for most of us, the title was familiar. It's not anything original. I didn't create it. I didn't write that. It's a popular R&B song from the group New Edition. And essentially, the, the theme of the song is, is a young man asking a young lady, can you deal with the ups and downs of a relationship? Can, can, can you deal with the, the bad days? Can you stand the rain, the tough moments that we'll have in a relationship? And just like in that song, when it's talking about romance and love and the ups and downs, life is going to provide those same moments. There are going to be many days where we smile and other days where we frown. Many days where we laugh, yet others where we cry. Several days where it's sunny and then others where there's rain. And then maybe we need to start asking ourselves, we need to start looking in the mirror and identifying how tough we really are. Because that's ultimately what it boils down to. How hard you're willing to work, how tough you are, can you stand the rain? We need to look in the mirror and ask ourselves, when life throws us a curveball that we didn't expect, when things get difficult, when we suffer a tragedy or experience trials and tribulations, can we stand the rain? I just have two quick points, two very quick points. And the first one's very important. If you're going to have the ability to stand the rain, then you have to be grounded. Now, I know you're probably thinking, grounded, what exactly does that mean? Well, when I say grounded, I mean grounded and rooted in a spiritual relationship with the Lord. You have to have something behind you. Because when life starts swinging at you, you can't just rely on your own strength, your own might, your own power to fight back. You need, you need to realize that you can reach up to your Heavenly Father and have power. Have an anointing, have the ability to walk confidently through that storm or through those rough moments. So you have to be grounded. And, and that groundedness only comes from a relationship with the Lord, a relationship with Christ, studying the word, fellowship, ministry, and so forth. Being able to say, you know what? Life is swinging at me. The enemy's coming at me. But I got a firm base. And my foundation is with God. And the second thing, the second thing is you have to be tough. You have to be tough. Now, I'm not talking about this fake tough that you see out there, you know, on the internet and social media, all that stuff where everybody's a gangster. I'm talking about truly tough. Tough enough to realize that, number one, I can't handle everything on my own. That's why that first point is important, that you have to be grounded. But number two, tough enough to realize that even when I get knocked down, even when I get pushed to my limit, I'm never going to quit. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep fighting, even if I have to get back up and dust myself off. I'm getting back into the game. I'm coming harder than before because I know what's out there now. You have to be tough. You know, I love the song, Can You Stand the Rain? Because it reminds me of life and it, and it teaches me some valuable lessons. Number one, being able to say I'm strong enough to fight. And I recognize that I don't live in, in fantasy land where everything's going to be great. There's going to be some bad days. There's going to be some good days. There's going to be some storms that I have to get over. Some storms that I have to go through. And the second thing it teaches me, it teaches me that you can't do it alone. You have to do it with God. Be strong. Be courageous. And recognize that when the storms come, the storms may fall. But you can get through them. You can overcome any obstacle. You can defeat any adversity. And you can win.